after a long weekend uh, I was actually in China with Huawei I had the most fun time but I also got the iPhone 10s Max and this is kind of different from the rest of the world because in China Apple actually launched the two physical dual sim model iPhone because there are a lot of countries where we don't have the eSIM sports is really good so this is the iPhone 10s Max we have pretty Apple-y box as usual I'm just gonna do this and remove the plastic and let's lift the box up designed by Apple in California I went with the 256 gigabyte model because uh, in my opinion that is enough memory to have but you can go to the 512 gigabyte model as well but that cost so much I don't think your kidneys would be able to handle that price okay I'm gonna lift the iPhone up here so this is the iPhone 10s Max in space gray color okay wow i gotta say it is a big phone but not so much of a problem for me because i have a big hands the 6.5 inch display that goes all the way around no chin uh but it does have a notch up front so let's just put this on the side and take a look at the box so we got the usual apple charger no fast charger out of the box even if you pay 1500 dollars still no fast charger out of the box which is like I don't have the words to explain that scumminess uh, then also we have the headphones or ear pods and then we have the lightning cable to charge the phone now there is no 3.5 millimeter headphone jack adapter out of the box so Apple stopped that and so headphone jack is now truly dead all right let's take off the plastic Okay, nice and shiny brand new iPhone 10s Max. This looks so, so pretty. I have to say it is an absolute premium product right there. I mean, you pay a lot of money, but the moment you get it out of the box, you're gonna get that feeling that you have a really fancy thing in your hand. Still, I mean, it doesn't make sense that it should be priced that much, but still, it looks absolutely beautiful. So if you went with the silver model, this is how it's gonna look and uh, it has the gold model as well but i was not able to get that because it was only available in the 64 gigabyte model and that is really less storage i mean apple should at least give us the base uh 128 gigabyte option just like the galaxy note 9. Uh, so i am turning on my brand new iphone 10s max uh, we're going to take a look at the sim card slot as well and see the difference with the chinese model um so yeah okay it is on and the usual apple setup is here we're gonna go with english meanwhile we're gonna talk about the design so uh, this is exactly like the last year's model so nothing has changed design wise uh, still has stainless steel gloss and uh and same notch of course with the bigger display so let's go ahead and set up the face id which is now a little bit faster than before so let's continue of course we have to add a passcode with ios 12 you get the screen time option that it gives you the weekly report of uh, how much apps and uh, which apps you're using the most so and of course with the plus model you have the option to have the standard or zoomed in look so the zoomed in look will give you a bigger app look some people kind of prefer the zoomed look or some just like the standard so i'm just going to go with the standard and continue this is how the gestures are if you're using it for the first time uh, it might take a little bit of time to learn but as you can see this is the iphone 10s max uh, i have to say it's a large phone not too large uh, 6.5 inch display is perfectly made for one hand experience at least for me uh, but obviously for other people uh, this might actually be a lot big and of course there is a notch up front but other than that the display bezels are really less there's no chin so it actually looks really futuristic when you're just using the phone and uh, uh, soon apple will be able to take care of the notch as well but right now it has the face id which is improved a little bit now again this is a 6.5 inch oled display so quick side by side comparison with the last year's iphone 10 i would definitely say uh, no visible difference like in the colors or everything uh, except this one is bigger so you can't really see any improvement it's probably the same uh, panel at least it looks the same but nonetheless it is a really high quality uh, AMOLED display the colors are absolutely amazing I've been watching a couple of videos and now they have actually improved the speaker as well they have more 
a wider experience so I've experienced that change a little bit compared to the previous model now one of the biggest changes this year is with the Apple A12 chipset it has enabled a lot of amazing features and it has improved the performance as well so compared to the last year's model you are getting a better score in both single and a multi-core so 11,200 it's not a huge huge leap uh, but it's definitely the best chipset in a phone right now as far as the benchmark score is concerned we also have improved camera as well this one has a uh, better sensor as well as some cool features such as the ability to change the uh, bokeh in the background which is called as the professional bokeh the front camera is 7 megapixel like the last year's model but it has better sensor again it can shoot up to 60 frames per second 1080p video which is pretty good for the pictures that I've taken outside I have to say it is absolutely incredible I'm personally a huge fan of iPhone camera because of the natural colors I mean I like their I direction when it comes to cameras of having that natural look especially with the selfies I really like the natural look compared to the other competitors so uh, on the iPhone you don't get any kind of beauty mode whatsoever it's completely natural and I love that some people don't like that but I personally like that the portrait mode is amazing and there's a smart HDR feature as well which boosts the colors and everything it looks incredible so I have to say the iPhone XS Max is absolutely the incredible best iPhone you can go for right now if you are using the last year's iPhone 10 then I would definitely not recommend you to upgrade but if you were a plus user from back in the days then I would definitely say uh, the iPhone XS Max is going to be that iPhone for you to give you that plus experience because it's almost as big uh, as the iPhone 8 Plus lastly we talk about the battery inside of this phone it has been revealed that it has 3100 63 mAh battery yeah something around that value uh, for a 6.5 inch display and I would say they should have gone with at least 3500 mAh cell we'll see that in our battery drain test because I can't wait to test out the iPhone XS Max and see how well it's gonna perform so thank you so much for watching this unboxing and first impression uh, let me know your thoughts down in the comment section I will see you guys in the next one peace out